So now that we understand functional dependencies, we are ready for the process of normalization. So data comes from various sources, such as users, user requirement specifications, forms, reports where people enter in data, data dictionary, and corporate data models, etc. So what we're going to do is take all the data from these various sources and transfer attributes into table format. So it's similar to an Excel spreadsheet where we have columns and rows with all the columns across the top and no semblance of how they're related together. This is what we call a normalized form where all the data has just been slapped in there. We could even have multiple values in a single cell. Then what we're going to do is move to first normal form by removing repeating groups, which we'll talk about in just a second. Then we're going to move to second normal form by removing partial functional dependencies and then to third normal form by removing transitive functional dependencies. So those terms should be familiar to you. We just talked about partial functional dependencies and transitive functional dependencies in a prior video. Third normal form is typically sufficient and as far as we will go. However, there is voice cod normal form, there is fourth normal form, and there is fifth normal form. You're welcome to learn more about these on your own. So in unnormalized form, the data is transformed from the information source into table format, which looks something like this. Notice that from product ID over, we have multiple values in a single cell. This is what we call repeating groups. So this is not a relation because it has repeating groups. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our unnormalized form and we're going to convert it to first normal form, which means that we remove the repeating groups so every single value has its own self. So you'll notice now that the order ID to address have repeating values, but they're all in separate cells. And we did this so that we could have product ID and over all in their own separate cells. This is now a relation, but it is not a well-structured one. So at this point, in first normal form, we also can identify the primary key using the functional dependencies that we described previously. So we identify order ID and product ID as the primary key. So now we're going to model the columns in first normal form. So to do that, we're going to add everything into its own separate relation. We'll call this relation order line, and we'll use order ID and product ID together as the primary key. We will then assign domain constraints to each one of our fields in this relation. So now we're going to move to second normal form. So in second normal form, we remove those partial functional dependencies. So to do this, we need to identify the partial functional dependencies, which we have done previously. And we found that product ID determined description, finish, and price. So in order to remove partial functional dependencies, what we're going to do is we're going to take the A, which is product ID, and everything it determines and put it in its own separate relation. So product ID determined description, finish, and price, and all four of these fields are now in the product relation. Additionally, we are going to keep A in the original relation order line as a foreign key. We're gonna do the same thing with order ID, where we're gonna keep A as a foreign key in order line, and then everything that it determines are going to be fields in the new relation called order. So now we have a relational model in second normal form. You'll notice that what we're left with in the middle is the full functional dependency, order ID, product ID, determining quantity. So to move to third normal form, we need to remove transitive functional dependencies. So that's where A determines B and B determines C. So order ID is our A, customer ID is our B, and name and address are our C. So the way this works is that we are going to have our A stay where it is. Our B becomes a foreign key in the order relation, so customer ID is now a foreign key, and everything that the B determines is going to be part of a new relation. So customer ID and name and address are part of the customer relation. And now we have a relational model in third normal form. So now what I have here is all the relations with the data that we had previously. And now what we're going to do is test to see if we have any anomalies. So for example, if I were to insert a new customer, would I have to insert a new order or new product? No, I wouldn't. And so th this resolves the insertion anomaly. If I were to delete a product, would I lose any order information or customer information? No, not directly. I would lose in order line that specific reference to the product ID and how much quantity of that was sold in that order, but it wouldn't impact other tables such as order or customer. And if I were to update the entertainment center to have a different finish, would I have to update that on multiple rows? The answer is no. 
So we have successfully resolved all three of our anomalies that we previously discussed. So now what I want you to do is use the functional dependencies from the previous learning activities to normalize this shipping manifest into third normal form. So walk through the steps to convert from unnormalized form all the way through third normal form. You can use my server to model using a relational model. So complete this on your own, pause the video, and then come back to compare your answers. All right, welcome back. So the first thing that we're going to do is to convert this unnormalized form into first normal form. So to do that, I'm going to split all the data into its own separate row. So I'm going to just go ahead and draw lines indicating each row. All right, and then I'll go ahead and finish in the missing data. Rather than spending the time to write in all the missing data, I'm just going to use ditto marks. So ditto, ditto. All right, so now that we have this in first normal form, we are ready to move to second normal form by removing the partial functional dependencies. So here we are on the server. I'm going to create a new file called normalization.rm. We'll go ahead and open this file. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is create the relational model in first normal form. And so I'll just call this shipment item. And as fields of this relation, I have shipment ID. And this is going to be a var char because it has a dash in it. And then I'm going to have origin, and this is going to be a varchar as well. Then I have destination, which is going to be varchar as well. Then I have ship ID, which is going to be integer. Then I have ship name, which is going to be a varchar. Then I have shipment date, which is going to be a date. And then I have captain ID, which is going to be a varchar because it has a dash. Then I have captain name, which is going to be varchar as well. Then I have item ID, which is going to be an integer. And then I have description, which is going to be a varchar. And I have weight, which is going to be a double. And then I have a quantity, which is going to be an integer. All right, from the previous videos, we found that shipment ID and item ID together are our primary key. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle those as our primary key. All right, so we now have our model in first normal form. All right, so now we need to get to second normal form. So to get to second normal form, we need to remove the partial functional dependencies. In order to do that, we need to remove everything that's dependent on just shipment ID or just item ID alone. So what I'm going to do is create a new relation so that we can have second normal form here. And I'm just going to rename this to shipment item second normal form. All right, I'm going to then drag this over, copy it, because we're going to use this information for removing our partial functional dependencies. I will call this first one shipment. So this is going to be everything that shipment ID determined. Based on our previous learning activities, shipment ID determined shipment date, origin, destination, ship ID, ship name, captain ID, and captain name. It did not determine description, weight, or quantity. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these and we no longer need item ID here either. And we'll go back to our original relation. We'll go ahead and remove everything that shipment ID determined. So we'll go ahead and delete all those. And then we'll go ahead and link shipment ID as a foreign key to the primary key of shipment ID. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is do the same thing, but this time we're gonna do it for item. So we'll call this relation item. And item ID determine description and weight. So we'll go ahead and get rid of shipment ID out of here and keep description and weight and get rid of quantity. And then we're going to use item ID to link back to the item ID and the item relation. So now we have our model in second normal form. The next thing that we're going to do is move to third normal form. And in order to move to third normal form, I need to remove the transitive functional dependencies. So I'm going to start by copying all of this and move it down. And we will change this from second normal form to third normal form. And we'll do the same for here. And we'll do the same for here. All right, in our previous videos, we identified that there are three transitive functional dependencies. The first one is that shipment ID determines ship ID. And ship ID determines name, captain ID, and captain name. So we're going to just copy shipment over. And this one is going to be a transitive functional dependency. So I keep the A where it is. The B then becomes a foreign key that links over to the new relations. So ship ID becomes our primary key over here. So I'll just go ahead and delete shipment ID. And then I will make this ship ID our primary key. And so it is the foreign key here and a primary key there. Ship ID also determined ship name. So I'll delete that from here. It determined captain ID and it determined captain name. And origin, destination, and ship date 
or part of the shipment. We'll change this from shipment to ship, third normal form. The second transitive functional dependency said that ship ID determined captain ID, which determined captain name. So let's go ahead and do the same thing again. This time, captain ID becomes the primary key over here, so I'll go ahead and toggle this as the primary key. I will then link from my foreign key to the primary key of captain ID. Let's go ahead and change this relation to captain, third normal form. And ship name is part of ship because captain ID only determined captain name. And captain name is no longer needed here because it's part of the captain relation. All right, the third transitive functional dependency is that shipment ID determined captain ID, which determined captain name. We already removed captain ID over here. So since it is a B on shipment, we need to go ahead and add it back. And then this captain ID is going to determine that captain ID. So we have shipment determining both ship and captain, and then we have ship determining captain.